All right, hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another one of our videos. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna be working on this Continental 0470 engine here. Um, as you can see, cylinders are all installed. I am just going to be working over here, putting in pushrod tubes to our lifters, uh, pushrods, rocker arms, and go ahead and set our drive valve lash for the engine. Show you guys real quick here we've got our push rod tubes all cleaned up and painted um, overhauled rocker arms new pushings all clean shiny and tipped and the springs for the push rod tubes so we're ready to go ahead and start putting that together All right, so the first thing you're gonna see me do here is I'm putting fuel lube on the push rod tube seals and the washers that go on the outside of these seals. This is just an extra step that we take to make sure that we don't have any oil leaks around this area. This step can be a little bit laborious, so I'll take this opportunity to ask you to scroll down and click the like button on this video. It really helps us out if you can do that. Thank you. All right, so you can see here all of the push rod tube seals with washers, all fuel lubed and ready to be put on to the push rod tubes here. And then those push rod tubes will be ready to put here between the cylinder and the crankcase. Now that we're ready to install these pushrod tubes, you'll see me using this special tool to compress the pushrod tube springs. The threaded end of this tool allows the spring to compress and stay compressed while we get the pushrod tube into position between the crankcase and the cylinder head. Once it's wedged into position there, we can thread the knob of that tool out and then just pop the tool out to let the spring expand and hold it into place. At this point, it's another laborious process as we have 12 of these total to put in, two per cylinder. I'll speed up the video here and you can certainly stick around and watch this, otherwise you can scroll ahead a few seconds to the next step where we start to install our rocker arms and push rods and set our dry valve lash. All right, so here they are, all 12 push rod tubes and springs installed tight, nice and pretty. All the seals are in. Uh, the big thing we wanna make sure when we're installing these is that the seal doesn't get hung up on the cylinder head as that can certainly cause an oil leak. But now we're ready to move on to the next step. 
All right, so now it is time to finally set our dry valve lash for our, all of these cylinders. The first thing you're going to see me doing here is I'm feeling in the spark plug holes as I turn the engine around in the direction of rotation. And what I'm feeling for is the number one cylinder to be on the compression stroke. And then specifically, I want the piston to be at the very top of that compression stroke. So what dry valve lash is, is the clearance between the rocker arm tip and the valve stem when the hydraulic lifters are collapsed and dry. So as long as we keep this clearance between a range provided by the manufacturer, which is continental in this case, then we know that once the hydraulic lifter is pumped up, it will make up for that slack. So now that I've installed all the push rods and rocker arms, you'll see me using a feeler gauge to confirm that the clearance between the rocker arm face and the tip of the valve stem is within the manufacturer's specified limits. In this case, a Continental 0470 manual calls for 60 to 200 thousandths. What you'll notice here is that this gap was not within these specs. So this is where it gets fun. The way to resolve this is by swapping push rods until you find the correct length push rod to put you within the limits. I repeat this process on each cylinder, and as I get the clearances within the spec, I reinstall the push rod, rocker shaft, and rocker arms with assembly grease, and then tighten the rocker shaft hold down bolt. As we continue this process, this would be a great time for me to ask you guys to subscribe to our channel. Subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notifications anytime we post a video. We really appreciate you guys subscribing to our channel and we love it when you guys interact with us. Please leave a comment or a question down below. We'd love to hear from you. We will do our best to respond. And you can also reach out to us online or giving us a call at our shop. You can find us at alaskaaircraftcylinders.com. We look forward to hearing from you. The last step you're going to see me do here is torquing the rocker shaft hold down bolts. Once these are torqued, we're completely done with our dry valve lash, and now we're ready to put the valve covers on. Thank you guys again for watching this video. We really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like the video, Go give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. 
Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video.